Hi hey guys, welcome back. And today we are tying the infamous Royal Coachman streamer. I like to tie this on a uh, salmon hook, upturned eye. This is a Mustad number four. And we're gonna wrap in some thread. I'm using 6-0. Now what I'm going to do a little differently here is tie in a silver tag. At the back, just adds a little bit more flash. Again with your tag, just when I do my Atlantic salmon patterns, I'm gonna make sure you got them nice and tight together. And what I also like to do is go over them on the way back. Adds in a little bit more durability to the tinsel. I'm just gonna tie that off. Snip it there. Now, pattern usually calls for golden pheasant tippet, which we're gonna use. And sometimes with the golden pheasant, you'll have these little strands that's, that are left on. And you wanna make the length about, uh, about three quarters of the uh, hook shank. Get a loose wrap and then tie it in securely. There we go. Okay, now for the peacock girl, I like to use four strands. And you wanna get some, uh, make sure that they're pretty good as far as in, uh, they're not nipped at all anywhere. And you wanna cut off the, the butt section there and tie it in. Now the great thing about this is where you tie in the ends is basically where you want that first section of body to be because you want to have a section of body uh, then we're going to be putting in some floss in the middle and then another section of body so you want to make it to a certain degree symmetrical and even okay so we're going to wrap those strands forward and just making sure you see where you are as far as how long you want that to be. Okay. Tie that in. Now, pattern usually calls for red floss or red thread in the middle. Uh, we're gonna be using some fluorescent hot pink just to change it up a little bit. And this stuff does glow when the sunlight hits it. I'll show you that later with the ultraviolet light. Okay. Pull that back. And you wanna measure now off where you want that section to be. Okay. Now we're just gonna start winding that floss forward. And don't worry about not covering all the black thread on the first pass. Because if you, what you want to do is cut off enough floss that you can go back over it and hide any of the uh, black thread wraps you have underneath. Okay. And tie 
wire that in. And take your time with this, as with any fly that you're doing. You don't want to rush into um, missing a step. And fly tying is all about having fun, right? Now grab another four strands of peacock row. Okay. And let's see here. Like that. And we're gonna measure that off to the forward part. too much but we'll just measure it as we're winding forward that looks about right and tie that off now what you want to what you want to look at is when you're doing that is making sure that the sections are semi-equal not going to be pulling in pulling out a micrometer or anything now for the throat, uh, usually calls for brown hackle, but you can use any type of hackle. Uh, for that, you can use any type of material. So what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to tie in a little bit of uh, brown marabou. And again, it just gives it a little bit different action in the water. And you want that about going back to the hook point. Bring that back up. We're gonna wind that right to where we had it. Okay. Hmm. That looks good. Okay. Now the fun part. What you usually wanna do is grab some sort of white wing uh, you can use uh, hackle tips, uh, just your basic uh, rooster saddle, or you can use marabou, calf tail. Uh, but for today, we're going to use uh, just some rooster hackle, and we're going to get two pieces. And where you want this to extend is basically just past the golden pheasant there. Okay. And sometimes this cooperates and sometimes it doesn't. What you want to do is pinch it and give it a nice tight wrap. Usually it's loose, this one it's tight. Okay. Not liking that. And sometimes it, it takes a while to get this uh, where you want it secured on top. It's just not cooperating at the moment. So we're gonna do a little bit of MacGyvering here. And basically you want to make sure that the hackle is opposing each other. And we're gonna try to tie that in one more time. good once you have it make sure you tighten it down nice so it doesn't move there we go trim that off and anything this you know you can trim off anything now later doesn't really matter it's up to you now what we want to do is build a nice head uh, with your thread and you want to cover any of the material that you've tied down. Okay. And head size, again, it's up to the individual. 
So we're gonna finish that off with whip finish. Whip finish, mini wraps as you like. You're in control. I like to do four to five. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're gonna finish it off with some UV finish. And again, taking our time with this. And when you see UV light hit, you're gonna see that pink fluorescent floss light up. And if you've watched my videos before, which hopefully you have, you'll notice that I always do a quick set with the light instead of doing it and holding it there and holding it there and holding it there. It just, uh, it's my personal preference. It gets me going and I can see where I like the head to be shaped uh, with the UV finish. And more often than not, I do lacquer or use uh, UV finish on all my streamers just get a better better neater look now that i have that all done uh, we want to hit it with a longer light usually about 10 to 15 seconds there you have it the Royal Coachman streamer hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time